I don't think we can get very far unless we talk about uh, the role of government. That's where we have to start. The Founding Fathers understood rather clearly what the role of government ought to be. And they believed in the way they talked and wrote and, and, writ and wrote the Constitution was they, be they believed that the purpose of government was to protect liberty. That was the purpose. It wasn't, it wasn't there to regulate our lives. It wasn't there to police the world. It wasn't, it wasn't there to uh, tell everybody how to spend their money and what they have to in, take into their bodies. They, they, they were there to protect liberty. The Constitution, if you read it carefully, it's so clear. It has nothing to do with restraining peaceful activity of individuals, nothing. <laughs> It's essentially a document written for the purpose of limiting the government. That is what it's for. And then the little bit of government they were con to conceding to, they were trying to, they were advising and they wrote down where this power of government, the authority of government would be. And basically, very little of it was supposed to be in Washington, D.C. It was supposed to be more local. But now it's been turned on its head. Uh, we have government getting bigger in Washington and is intrusive uh, with it, you know, throughout the country. But the revolutionary spirit we have today, actually, it's rather delightful. We're actually talking about nullification and the Tenth Amendment once again. But, you know, you hear... You hear often on TV, if you happen to listen to a liberal commentator, they come down real hard on you if you believe in nullification. That's some right-wing, wild conspiracy theory about just nullifying laws. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, like California would like to nullify the laws against smoking marijuana. <laughs> So the, um, the nullification principle, I think, is a good one. You know, it was also intended by the founders. Actually, the principle of secession was based in the Constitution. And the Northeast always threatened to secede from the terrible South. And, uh, and, and that's, that was there. But, you know, you can believe in the principle of secession and nullification without undermining our whole system. It's the idea that if we're mistreated or overtaxed and overregulate and fed and fight too many wars, that we have that option, that would put so much brakes on the federal government if they understood that. <laughs>